name is Diola Adebe and I am the fashion and beauty blogger behind the wonderful website and blog Omogimura. Welcome to today's video. This video is a makeup tutorial on this dark and vampy look here. I really like this look. These are kind of makeup looks I really love to do. Dark, vampy, unconventional, you know, not regular smoky eyes and stuff. This is the kind of shit I like to do. But funny enough, I tried filming this video last week but my camera messed up on me. I went out of focus. Um, but I finished the look, I posted it to Instagram and Twitter, and you guys really wanted to see it, so I decided to refilm it. Without wasting much of your time with a long ass intro, let's watch how to get this makeup look. Please, please, please do not forget to subscribe before you leave. It's that nice red big button. Just click on it, click on the notifications bell so when I upload a video, you get to know. You'll be the first person to know if you click on that notification bell. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, let's get started. I have already done my brows as you can see and I tried to make them a little more fleeky. <laughs> so to start off with my eyes, I'm going to be using the Zaron Eye Primer. I recently just got this and I usually use concealer and powder for my brow, uh, so for my brows, for my eyes, but this product works really, really well. It um, allows the shadows to stick well and it, the shadows are very vibrant on my eyes. For this look, we're using the Morphe 35O. In particular, we're using that row of shadows the red row the warm row so we're gonna go in with this muted orange and we're gonna first start off in the crease and a little bit above the crease so I wanted the look to be very vibrant and very in your face so I took it really like you know I took it up I took the shadows up and I placed them right above my crease now we're gonna go in in with this reddish brown in with that same brush this is just to give a little bit more um, color to the crease and, you know, to start preparing ourselves for that red shadow I'm going to put on my lid. Now it's time for the red and I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going to apply it a bit lower than where the other two shadows were, are placed to create a, like, a nice ombre effect. So it goes from orange brown to red. Then I'm taking this darker dark brown and I'm putting that in my crease windshield wiper motions so that I'm not going up or down. I'm just going in my crease back and forth, back and forth. Then I'm going to take this Kitty Cosmetics Creamy Pencil. And this is going to be my base. The first time I shot this look, it didn't have a base. And the black didn't look as black as I wanted. But this works perfectly, perfectly well. So I put that on my lid and I use a brush to smudge it. And to create a really nice base for the black eyeshadow I'm going to put on top. The shadow I'm going to put on top is from Zaron and the shade is called Charcoal. And I'm going to use a flat synthetic brush to apply this to my lid on that cream, uh, that cream liner that we used. I'm going to go in with this ashy brown and this is just to blend and make sure there are no harsh lines or you know nothing weird is going on with my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to do winged liner with the Tails Cosmetics um, felt tip liner. Now I left a huge chunk of this in here like how I do my liner to show you guys how I actually do it. Yeah, you can see that that look is like what so usually when I do my liner I draw what I can and then I use concealer to create the shape that I want it doesn't happen perfectly I, I, I don't do it like perfectly at like you know all at once but I it takes me some time and it takes I think it takes everybody a little bit of time so this is just to show you that you can do it if you want you just need to practice and I use concealer to help to clean up and make my eyeliner look nice and stuff like that I wanted to use lashes, but I couldn't find the lashes I wanted, so I just opted for mascara. And the mascara I'm using is the Girling Curl Definer Mascara. It's really, really good at curling and defining your lashes. And I'm going to take that creamy pencil and I'm going to put it in my waterline to, you know, smoke out the look and to make it look all nice and sexy. 
Now for my face, I'm going to go in with the Nivea After Shave, After Balm, whatever it's called. I'm going to put it on my face. <laughs> it, um, a lot of people have like qualms with it, like they think it's not great, but it works for me. It works for my skin. And I like it. Then I'm going to color correct with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Color Corrector in the shade Orange. I'm going to color correct under my eyes, um, dark spots on my face, and around my mouth. Right now I'm just using a beauty blender to blend it all out. For my foundation, I am using the Black Opal Foundation Cream Stick in the shade Beautiful Bronze. So instead of me putting the foundation stick directly on my face, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this flat foundation brush to kind of apply it to my skin. I realize that when I put it directly on my face, I put too much and my face becomes very, very yellow and it becomes very hard to blend. So this way I have a lot of control over the how much product goes where I want it and it just helps with blending and it makes just like a lot of sense, honestly. So I'm here, I'm using my Morphe M442 brush to buff the foundation in my skin believe me this is the best foundation brush i have ever 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 used i love this foundation brush just buffs in the product in my skin well and i always end up with a flawless finish whenever i use this brush now i'm out of focus here because my camera just likes to do what it does but basically what I did here is I put concealer under my eyes my forehead down the bridge of my nose and I blended it out and I applied the Sasha buttercup um, setting powder to bake under my eye and I used it to bake um, my nose for my nose contour and my forehead and my chin Now we're back in focus and I have baked for quite some time. I think I baked for like 10 minutes. So I'm using this brush to wipe away the excess powder. Um, I try not to bake for more than 10 minutes because I have dry under eye skin or dry skin under my eyes. And it just dries it out more if I leave the powder there. So I'm using this Log Cosmetics powder to set that area because the Sasha Buttercup powder is very yellow and I like this Log powder because it has a bit more brown in it so I'm just using that to add a bit more color to my face now it's time to contour I'm using the double tight loss and contour kit in the shade dusk and I'm going to contour my cheekbones my jawline my forehead and I'm also going to use like a smaller brush to contour um, my cupid's bow and to contour my nose Now I'm using my beauty blender to blend the contour and the the powder just to blend my whole face out so there are no hard, no harsh lines. You know, you want your makeup to look as natural and as flawless as possible. It is date night, you know, it is Valentine's Day. So you want to look nice. So that, that contour is nice and popping. I am using some of that powder that I used to bake under the contour to like cut it and to make sure it's nice and popping. <laughs> Then I'm going to use blush, and the blush I'm using is from MAC Cosmetics. It's in the shade um, A Little Lusty. And right there, I was looking for my, um, my blush brush, but I couldn't find it. So I just used my regular powder brush, my smaller powder brush, instead to apply the product. And the trick I use with blush is I smile. I smile, and I put it right on the apple of my cheeks, and I take it a little bit upward so it looks natural. It's time to highlight, and I'm using the Tails Cosmetics Tails Glow Highlighting Kit. But before I apply it, I'm going to take my brush and apply um, some Kudi Cosmetics Makeup Fix Plus. That spray is perfect. It's just perfect. It makes the highlight look natural and beautiful. 
and I'm going to highlight um, my cupid's bow under my brows and my cheekbones you know so we have a highlight that can be seen from space and I'm taking my beauty blender spraying it with that same spray and blending my highlights into my skin it just makes the highlights melt beautifully and looks like a really nice glow and now I am just rubbing off the excess powder on my nose. I, I like my nose to bake for quite some time. And then I'm using my beauty blender to blend the contour so it looks nice and natural. And now I am applying some highlighter to my nose. That has baked under my um, contour for quite some bit, so I'm just taking my powder brush and just wiping and brushing away the excess powder. To finish up my eyes, I'm going to go in with a small shader brush and that same red shade, and I'm going to blend out the black. Then I'm going to take this um, eyeshadow from Zaron called Eye on Throne, and that's going to be my inner corner highlight. This shade is beautiful. God, it's so gorgeous. And this is me just putting mascara on my lower lashes, the same mascara as I used before. And now I am just dusting my face with some loose powder. This is the Black Opal Loose Powder. And now it's time for lipstick. The lipstick I am using is an oldie but a goodie. It's the Kat Von D Vampira Liquid Lipstick. Once I'm done with that, I am just going to apply that spray, you know, spray it all over my face and use my beauty blender to blend it in. So the makeup, all the layers, all the powders melt and become a one beautiful flawless face and that is the finished look so that is it on this tutorial i really 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 hope you guys liked it if you didn't if you did if there's something else you want me to do please leave a comment below and i will answer your answer all my comments if you forgot to do this please subscribe and also click on the notifications bell so you know when i put up a new video you can follow me on social media i am basically everywhere thank you so much once again for watching this video i truly 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 appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye